Alright, so here's a new project that I was working on yesterday. Um, I built this bike generator um, using an old bike that somebody gave me. Some 2x4s and a Delco Remy 10SI alternator. And a lot more battery. That's pretty much dead. Um, I was going to show you the performance of it um, based on using a couple loads that I have. Um, as you can see, my battery is pretty much completely dead. It's 4.9 volts. Um, this battery doesn't really hold a charge except enough to get the field going on the alternator. And I'll go ahead and do a couple of load tests on here. And I'll just show you that the voltage will go up. Let's see here. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay, it should have hit at least 12 volts on there. Um, right now it's showing 8 volts and just decreasing. But um, right now I've got a couple of jumper cables hooked up to it. Uh, I just had them because it's the only thing I can hook this up to. And a little small 350 watt peak inverter. And I've got some Christmas lights on it. You can see the low battery lights on. Power light doesn't even come on. But what I'll do is, is I'll... Um, Uh, go ahead and start pedaling and show you the light. Come on, put this here so you can see this. Yeah. Alright, hopefully, you can see that. This might shake a little bit. One loading, you can see it's still lighting up until the battery's about to die. Yeah. So then it goes back down, and this is my charge light right here when it's not charging, and it works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the alternator movement. Okay, for some reason the chain skips, but I don't know. I think it just needs to be tightened. Uh, but yeah, I'll do another load with my uh, Craftsman drill battery uh, charger. And the uh, beeper just started to work in this thing now. I wish it didn't work. It wasn't working a while ago, but uh. It's the uh, drill battery charger. Here. You should, should be able to see the charge light. This one right here. And that's the, uh, that one will light up for some reason. It's not supposed to. Probably because this isn't a pure sound wave inverter. It's still slightly shorter than it dies. So yeah, I got some pretty good results out of this. Um, I think the top amperage that I hit was 13 amps, which is pretty good. Uh, about 150 watts, somewhere around there. So yeah, um, need to work on a little bit more. Basically, it's just a pretty basic stand. Belt goes around the tire, or the old wheel. And the seat needs to be replaced. And I need to put like a switch here for the alternator. Turn the alternator on. My bulb's dead again. So yeah, that's pretty much 
the gist of it. Um, show that it's working. So yeah, I mean, there's something real bad to happen and couldn't get power or generator died and we had to have lighting, then we have a way. So yeah, it's, it's great. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that meter hit 14 because I didn't see it, so yeah. Anyways, that's my bike generator, generator so yeah, thanks for watching.